All right, 2021's been a shit show, man. Let's go over the top political stories uh, according to NPR. We finally pulled out of Afghanistan. Um, Only about 20 years too late, but whatever. Oh man, 2021 proved that climate change is here. We started the year off with a big winter storm down in Texas that knocked out the power grid for like five days in February. We've had floods, tornadoes, fires, and drought. Them tornadoes that rolled through Kentucky, man, really ravaged the area, man, and displaced and killed a lot of people. It's only gonna get worse. Number eight, rise of the far right in the House of Representatives. We've got about 10 of these QAnon congressmen now that are always on some lies, some disinformation. Anyone that's associated with the Freedom Caucus is a joke. Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, uh, Kevin McCarthy, Mitch McConnell sucks. He's not with Freedom Caucus, but he sucks in his own way. Jim Jordan, Paul Gosar, Matt Getz trying to creep around your little daughters. Mm. We got a new president this year. Uh, Anything's better than Trump. I wish I had more to say about that, but... All right, number six and number one are both connected. They're both about January 6th, but this is about the January 6th committee investigation. So far, they've put out a bunch of sound bites that make a lot of people look guilty, but I mean, nothing has happened to anyone, so... Hopefully, after the first of the year, we're going to see some stuff go down, man, but I ain't holding my breath. Number five, Trump's still pushing the big lie. I have not met a single intelligent person that believes that the 2020 election was stolen in any way. We all got that one family member, though. Yeah, so voting rights were definitely under attack this year. New restrictive voting laws. We saw a handful of GOP-led states like Arizona, Georgia, Florida, Texas, Iowa, and Montana get more restrictive voting laws this year. Yes, it actually got harder to vote in certain places in the United States this year. I mean, nothing weird about that. Number three, coronavirus two years in and we are getting ravaged. We are breaking records daily for positive COVID tests. We are losing about 1,400 people a day to COVID currently. That's under our peak for deaths. The vaccines are helping with that, but our positivity rate is through the roof. New strain this year, Omicron, super transmissible. And in another sign that we're about to be living the handmaid's tale in real life, abortion restrictions and court battles. Texas passed an abortion ban and the Supreme Court seems totally cool with it. And the top story was the January 6th insurrection. They've got a committee together. There's going to be public hearings after the first of the year. We're going to see what happens. But yeah, to sum it up, man, 2021 was basically a shit show.